myself Dr. BJD Kalyani, Associate Professor in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering of Institute of Aeronautical Engineering. In this video, I will discuss about arithmetic micro operations. At the end of this video, the student will gain knowledge regarding the basic arithmetic micro operations and the associated electronic circuitry to perform these basic arithmetic micro operations. And the agenda of this video is binary arithmetic. What are the basic operations that can be performed on the binary numbers and how the addition operation can be performed with the binary adder? The same circuit how can be it, it can be used for two binary operations like addition and subtraction that comes under binary adder and subtractor. How the binary incrementer can increment the value one of the binary number. So these topics will be discussed in this video. First we will look into the basic binary arithmetic. What are the basic operations that can be performed on the binary numbers? The first operation we will discuss is the binary addition. So the rules that can be applied during binary addition is 0 plus 0 can be the sum can be 0 with a carry of 0. When 0 plus 1 is added, the sum can be 1 and the carry is 0. When 1 plus 0, the sum can be 1 and the carry is 0. Whenever 1 plus 1 can be added, the sum can be 0 and the carry can be 1. For example, consider two numbers that are loaded in the two registers. For example, take the register R1 contains a binary value 4 ones, 4 bit uh, value and 4 ones can be stored, stored in the register R1. And in the R2, if the value 100 is loaded, whenever the micro operation, arithmetic micro operation, add can has to be applied to the registers R1 and R2, the values can has to be performed the binary addition. So here 1 plus 0, the sum can be 1 and the carry can be 0. So 1 plus 0, it should be 1. And no carry can be produced here. And 1 plus 0 can be the same operation. 1 plus 0, the sum can be 1 and there is no carry. In case of 1 plus 1, the sum can be 0 and the carry can be 1. So sum here 0 and the extra carry can be produced here. This is the way to calculate the binary addition. The next operation is binary subtraction. So in case of performing binary subtraction, the rules that can be followed are 0 minus 0 is subtract 0 result and the borrow can be 0. 1 minus 0 is 1 and the borrow is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0 and a borrow is 0. 0 minus 1 is 0 and a borrow is 1. So consider the two resistors R1 consists of triple one, four ones and R2 consists of a binary number which can be this. 1, triple, 0. Whenever sub or the assembly language instruction arithmetic micro operation is applied on the registers R1 and R2, then the subtraction operation can be carried out. So here we have to subtract R1 minus R2. So 1 minus 0 is the result can be 1. And in case of 1 minus 0, the result can be 1. And 1 minus 0, the result can be 1. In case of 1 minus 1, the result is 0. So, this is the direct subtraction. But generally, the subtraction can be uh, performed in uh, by using the 2's complement 
addition that we will discuss in the next slides next the binary operations generally we can perform is to calculate ones complement and twos complement of the binary number so in any number system there there are two complements can be available that is the base complement and base minus 1 complement it is a binary number system having the base value of 2 so there are two complements are available those are ones complement and twos complement consider the resistor r1 consists of the value four ones how to calculate ones complement means we can interchange one as zero zero as one then we can get the ones complement so here all our ones so we can interchange it as zeros this is the ones complement value consider one more example like r2 consists of 1010 1, and ones complement of this number is we have to interchange zero as one one as zero so this is the ones complement of r2 so this can be represented in r2 complement now what is twos complement means twos complement is equal to ones complement plus 1 so here the ones complement of r1 is all are zeros and if you want to calculate twos complement of r1 we have to add a 1 to this value so here it is 1 leading with three zeros so this is the twos complement of r1 and here the same we can apply on the r2 also this is the ones complement of r2 ones complement plus 1 is the twos complement so twos complement of r2 can be and we have to add the ones complement plus 1 so here 1 plus 1 0 with a carry 1 and here 1 1 0 so this is the twos complement of r so in this way the ones complement and the twos complement can be calculated so in any number system we can have two complements base complement and base minus 1 complement and the subtraction can be binary subtraction can be performed with the twos complement addition how this uh, twos complement addition can be carried out now we have to discuss so let us consider in the resistor r1 the value triple 1 can has to be stored and in the resistor r2 1 triple 0 is stored the first number when you are to find the binary subtraction r1 minus r2 the first number can has to be taken as it is so the r1 value can be taken as it is the second number two's complement can has to be added to the first number so here the r2 two's complement we have to calculate so r2 one's complement is 0 1 and the one's complement plus one value is the two's complement so for this ones complement we have to add 1 so 0 1 0 1 0 1 so 1 0 0 is the twos complement of this number so here we have to add this twos complement here then whenever we are performing addition so the first number binary subtraction with the twos complement addition the first number can has to be taken as it is the second number twos complement can be considered here so whenever we are adding we can get an overflow bit what is overflow bit means the extra bit that is generated during the binary micro arithmetic micro operation if you consider the r1 and r2 both are containing the four bit 
but the sum value can consist of 5 bit. This extra bit can be discarded in case of binary subtraction with 2's complement addition and the result is this one. And if it are here, no extra overflow bit or carry can be generated here, then the number can be treated as negative and 2's complement of this result can be considered as result. So, here in the binary subtraction, we have to take the first number as easily. The R1 value we are taking as uh, here and the second number 2's complement can be added here. The second number 2's complement can be added here. Whenever during after calculation of arithmetic addition, if at all an extra bit is generated, that is the overflow bit. That overflow bit can be discarded. If the extra bit is not generated, the overflow bit is not generated, then the, name, the result can be considered as a negative and the sum to's complement can be considered as the result. So, this is the procedure for binary subtraction with to's complement addition. Now, what are the various arithmetic micro operations that can be supported uh, the discussed binary operations. So, the first one is the addition. Addition can has to be represented in the RTA registered transfer language as this. So, here R3 is uh, ca containing the sum of register R1 plus register R2. So, the addition of R1 and R2 can be performed and the sum can be stored in the register R3. So, the content of R1 plus R2 are transferred to the R3. The second operation is the subtraction operation. So, the subtraction operation can be represented in the RTL as uh, here the content of R1 can be minus or subtracted from the register R2 and the result is transferred and stored in the register R3. Next is complement. So, here the register R2 complement is stored in the register R2 only. So, here this can be the once complement. When the once complement plus 1 can be treated as the two's complement. So, the next operation represents the two's complement of register value R2. R2 once complement plus 1 can has to be stored in the register R2. Next operation is the binary subtraction. How the binary subtraction can be performed with the two's complement addition? So, here the first register value can be taken as it is lay and the second number 2's complement can be added to the first number. So, the second register 1's complement plus 1, here it will produce the 2's complement of R2. So, this 2's complement of R2 is added to the R1 which in turn stores the result in the R2 that can be represented as the subtraction. So, this is the notation RTL we can use to represent the uh, subtraction with the 2's complement addition. Next, the increment operation. The increment operation can be denoted with the register plus 1. One value can has to be incremented the previous register value with the increment operation. So, here register R1 value can be incremented by 1 and the result can be stored in the R1. Next, the decrement operation. The decrement operation can causes the value of the register can be decremented by 1 or uh, the content can has to be reduced by 1. So, here the content of R1 can be minus 1 and the result is stored in R1. This is called the decrement operation. So, these are the RTL notations of the binary arithmetic operation. So, here the addition operation can be represented like this. Subtraction operation, complement operation, two's complement operation, 
and binary subtraction with two is complement operation increment operation and decrement operation these are the basic arithmetic micro operations that can be represented in rtl now we we can discuss the, how to perform these basic arithmetic operations how they are uh, symbolically notated using the rtl now we have to discuss about uh, what are the electronic circuitry that can be associated to perform these basic operations so this is the first circuitry that is the uh, binary adder so addition operation can be performed by using this 4 bit binary adder so this adder circuit uh, to perform the arithmetic uh, addition operation two components are used the first component is the resistor the second component is the full adder. The full adder in short can be represented with FA. So here A and B are the two resistors which can consist of the two numbers that are going to be added. And these are the resistors and here this is the full adder circuit. The full adder can has to take the three values as input and produces the sum and carry as the output. So here the two number digits and the carry value can has to be taken given as fully added here as input and it will produce the sum and carry as the output. The input carry of first full adder can has to be given as um, the output of first full adder can has to be given as input carry for the second full adder. So the full adders in order to perform the 4 bit binary addition, 4 full adders are required and can be connected in a cascade fashion. So the output of first full adder can has to be given to the input carry for the uh, next full adder. So here the resistors A contains the first number for example, A is containing the value triple one and the B contains, the B resistor contains the value one triple zero. So here the uh, bits, the successive bits of resistors A and B, uh, can the content of resistors A and B, the successive bits can be taken and can uh, they are supplied as input to the full adder. So this is the A0 bit of the resistor A1, A2, A3 and this is the B0 bit B1, B2, B3. So here the first full header has to take this A0 bit and this B0 bit. In our example they are this. Okay. And the carry can be 0 initially and it can be supplied to the first full adder and the sum that can be produced after uh, the addition of it this is the s0 so here s0 can be produced and there is no carry carry can be zero and the next full adder can has to take the next uh, bits of the resistors a and b and the sum bit can be represented here and the carry that can be forwarded to the next step can be supplied here the output carry of this full adder. Like this way the binary addition can be performed with the circuit of 4 bit binary adder. A slight variation in the binary 4 bit adder is binary adder and subtractor. A single circuitry can be used to perform the both operations the addition and subtraction. That's why the name is binary adder and subtractor. So how this can be possible means by using the control line input M. So with the help of this control line input M the circuit can be behave uh, adder and a subtractor. When the M value is equal to 0, the circuit can be performed the binary addition. 
and when the m value is equal to 1 it can perform the subtraction so with the help of this control line the same circuit can has to be used served for the two purposes binary addition and subtraction so here the subtraction can be performed with the help of two's complement addition so when binary when the control line m value is 0 the circuit can be behaved as the uh, addition like the previous one whatever we discussed the from the resistors two resistors two numbers can has to be stored in the a, a resistor and b resistor the successive bits of the resistors can be supplied to the full adder and the sum can be produced as the output and what are the resultant carry of the first full adder can be given as input to the second full adder. So here also the full adders can be connected in a cascade fashion. So previous circuit how it behaves can be a similar way this circuit can also be behaved when m is equal to 0 and performs the binary addition. When m is equal to 1, the same circuit can be served for the um, subtraction uh, mechanism. So, here how the subtraction operation can be carried out means the subtraction operation can be carried out with the two's complement addition. With the two's complement addition. So, by using this exclusion R and with the M value is equal to 1, so B naught two's complement can has to be produced here. Okay, B naught uh, uh, 2's complement can be produced as a output of exclusive R. The first number, what is the procedure that we discussed for the binary uh, subtraction by using the 2's complement addition is first number can be taken as it is mm -hmm. and the second number 2's complement can be derived with the exclusive R gate with the M is equal to 1 input and this 2's complement can has to be given full added. So, both can has to be added here and the resultant sum can be produced by the uh, full added. So, by using this M input the same circuit can has to be performed the addition operation as well as subtraction micro operation. The next circuit is the binary increment. So, increment operator is generally used to increase the resistor content by 1. So, here whatever the resistor content is there that can be added a 1 value. So, here two components are required. One is the resistor. Resistor is used to store the number and the uh, circuit that can be involved in the addition is the half adder. The half adder in short we can call it as HA. So, here the half adder can take the two inputs and produces the uh, sum and carry to outputs. So, here the 4 bit uh, incrementer it should be. So, 4 half uh, four adders are required here and the uh, number that can be used for increment uh, operation can be stored in the resistor A. The successive bits of resistors can be supplied as a one input to the half adder like A0, A1, A2, A3 and here the increment can be the content of the resistor A plus 1. So, the input we know that. So, the input value 1 can be directly supplied here for the off adder. So, here the resultant sum whatever it produces and any carry produced the output carry of first of adder can has to be given as sec a second input for the F adder. So, like this the F adders can has to be connected in a cascade fashion in order to take the output carry of the first of adder can has to be taken uh, to as an input to the next of adder. So, in this way 
the content of resistor can has to be directly incremented by one by supplying the one value directly to the of adder. So this is the binary incrementer. So we discussed about how the simple arithmetic operations can has to be performed and uh, how they can be represented by using the RTL notation and what are the electronic circuitry that can be associated to perform these uh, uh, basic binary operations. How the binary addition can be carried out, how the single circuit can has to be served for the uh, adder as well as subtractor at, at the same time and how binary incrementation can be done. And the assembly language instructions that can be support these binary micro operations are in order to perform the addition the assembly language instruction add can be used and to perform the subtraction SCB sub mnemonic can be used in the assembly language and for incrementation INC mnemonic can be used in the assembly language and for decrementation DEC mnemonic can be used in the assembly language. So for example register R1 and R2 contains the two numbers. Then in order to perform the addition of these two numbers in the assembly language we have to use the mnemonic add and these two resistors and these two resistors can be given as operands. So the content of resistor R1 and R2 can be added and the result of and sum can be stored in the R1. And in order to perform the subtraction, the sub mnemonic operation can be used. So sub R1 comma R2. Subtraction of R1 minus R2 can be carried out and the result can be stored in R1. If you want to increment any register value by 1, then the mnemonic INC can be used. So INC and the register value can be specified. In this way, we have to apply in the assembly language. And to decrement a register value, DEC R2. So this involves R1 plus 1 operation. And this results in R2 is equal to R2 minus 1. Here R1 is equal to R1 plus 1. So in this way, the basic arithmetic micro operations can be used the successive mnemonics in case of assembly language. So in this video, we discussed about the basic arithmetic operations. How binary addition, subtraction and the subtraction uh, with the two's complement addition, how it can be performed? What is complement, one's complement, two's complement? The basic operations, how uh, basic arithmetic, uh, binary arithmetic we discuss later on. How these operations can be represented in the RTL notation? And next we move to the the electronic circuitry behind these uh, binary operations. The binary adder, binary adder subtracted, binary incremented. How these binary uh, micro operations can be represented with uh, the uh, assembly language mnemonics with examples we discuss in this video. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.